This is Cantalus from the Phoenix Realms Minecraft server with another tutorial in this series on setting up a Minecraft server. So we've got Minecraft and Bucket up and going and we've got Iconomy with MySQL. Now let's get permissions. This one is one of the more popular uh, backbone kind of plugins that lots of other ones tie into. And there's a couple of different options. I'm going to be using permissions. There's some other ones around, but let's try this one. We've got the latest stable build. I'm going to go ahead and grab this zip here and save it. And then we're going to need to put that into our plugins folder. Now I'm just going to take the jar file and put it into our plugins folder here. Just drag and drop that permissions.jar file over. And now let's fire up the server and see what it does. So we open up run.bat. And here we go. Permissions was initialized. So, let's see what it looks like. Go ahead and stop the server. And here in plugins, now there's a permissions folder that it created. And this is where we need the zip file. So, bring that over here. Here's the zip file, and here's the permissions folder, and this readme.yml. So let's go ahead and drag it over. And edit it with Notepad++. Now this is the main config file and you'll need a different one of these for each world, at least as of this version, which is 2.7.4. So we're going to go ahead and leave the most of this as default. And really what you need, just to start out with, is to make yourself an admin. So this part, just kind of a rundown, here's the different groups and here's the default group. So that's what people, if they're not in any other group, that's the group that they're in. Now here, where it's the foo.bar, that's where we're going to be, for each plugin, putting in little permission bits for what just your normal user can do. If you want to have kind of a subclass that's not quite an admin like you, but still has a little bit more power as, as a moderator, then the inheritance from default, so that way they can do anything that a normal person can do, and whatever you put down here where the bar.foo is. So that way they can have extra things like maybe um, the ability to punish somebody a little bit for saying something inappropriate in chat, something like that. And here for admins, this is where they have permissions everything. That's what the little star is. So we want to make ourselves an admin. So here's the examples of the different users. So they've got the number one Yeti, the guy who made this plugin, as an admin, and Herpina as a moderator, and Derpina as an admin. And you can set up a prefix and suffix, which is used by some chat plugins, so it'll show that when you're typing messages in the chat in game. But here, for now, we just need to change out the number one Yeti for your Minecraft username, in my case, Canthalus. And going to go ahead and save this. And go back up and. Oh, one more thing. Almost forgot. We need to rename this file to world.yml. Or if you've changed the name of your world, you need to put in whatever that name is. And we go back to here to run the .bat file and see if everything loads looks like it has. So now we should be able to go into the server and have all the nice admin powers. And also the exciting part, we're going to actually log into our server. So here's the Minecraft launcher and note that as of what I'm doing this, this is 1.5. So go to multiplayer and type in localhost for the IP since I'm hosting this here on my own computer. Like the computer that I'm running this on is the same one that the server's on. So I go ahead and hit connect and it's going to log us in and then here we are in our server and you can check permissions there we go so the permissions plugin is loaded so what I did is I typed a slash permissions and then a question mark and that's what displayed this help info here so you can 
do a reload all or reload just a specific world because remember if you're gonna have multiple worlds like if you want a nether world and maybe a free build world and that sort of thing each of those worlds will have a different permission file so if you just want to uh, make a quick edit to one and reload it without actually having to restart your server you can do those with those commands there and we also have the economy plugin installed so that's money and a question mark so you can check our balance you can get you can do all kinds of things since we have admin powers we can grant money to people so I'm going to do a money grant my name Kenthless and a thousand so there we go thousand dollars credited to my account I now have one thousand and thirty dollars since in the config options thirty is the default to start with and so we can do things like money and stats so there you go there's only one person here and it's me and that's how much money we've got so those are the ways that you access options in game it's usually by a slash and then whatever the command is for that particular plugin like money or permissions and each plugin will have a different little command and no two plugins can share the same command that's one of the fairly common things like especially shop plugins or something like that will all fight over the slash shop and things kinda of fall apart but now we're here in our server and that'll end it for this video and the next tutorial we're gonna start in on some of the other plugins start connecting in and then a little bit more on configuration options for those as well so thanks for joining me and catch you later.